All right, man. Apparently, Jamal Charlo misses weight for his showdown with Jose Benavidez Jr. You already know it was at a catch way. Shout out to Chris Minix and Michael Benson on Twitter. I've seen it there. The way in ain't by the time y'all see this is at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so around an hour. Um, it's probably uh obviously it looked like it is the uh the, what you call it, the the decorated way in, whatever they're calling it. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's prior to decorated way in i forget what they call it they already had the way in so they having the weigh-ins earlier then they having pageantry type weigh-ins later on that's kind of the thing on the west coast i remember fighters used to have to wait you know till 3 p.m west coast, west coast time pacific time to weigh in now to think about that that's the equivalent to midday on the east coast you know what i'm saying um now is this the bizarre thing i've seen absolutely not remember chris algeri missed weight um and he uh for a catch weight with Manny Pacquiao and he a dietitian. You know what I'm saying? He a dietitian. dietitian. So it's called the ceremonial weigh in. So um Charlo and Benavidez both made the weight. Benavidez weighed in at 167 and uh Andre weighed in at 167.6. All right, so we got some good news to cover the next couple of days. Uh, I still had to uh I still had to uh I still had to, you know some stuff I had to do to uh put the crib or whatever I had to put my dresser together and I was out the way for a couple of days so I, I went here uh so yeah I should I had to do so that's a tripped out thing about it bro um he weighed in twice and he weighed in heavier the second time all right so, and they already mandated him to fight Carlos Adamas, the WBC, after this. So, I don't think he's coming back down. But said Jamal Charlo's coming in 3.4 pounds overweight at 166.4 pounds for his 163 pound catchweight fight with Jose Benavidez Jr. tomorrow night. Benavidez weighed in at 161.2. Camps are reportedly negotiating a deal for the fight to still take place, said Chris Minix. So then he spun the block and weighed in again, all right? Um, he weighed in again, and um, this time he weighed in heavier. You know what I'm saying? He weighed in heavier. Um, he weighed in heavier. So here we go, real quick. So since Jamal Charlo is reportedly weighed in even heavier at 166.6 in his second attempt to make 163 pound catch weight versus Jose Benavidez Jr. tomorrow night. He initially was uh, uh, 3.4 pounds overweight, 166.4, but now he's 136, 30, 130, he's 3.6 pounds overweight. So could this be an indication that, uh, you know, he ain't in shape or whatever? Uh, You know what I'm saying? And he stopped, uh, he stopped, you know, uh, I don't even know what I've seen, though. So, my bad. I don't lost my train of thought. But, yeah, like I said before, yeah, I don't know if this could be an advantage or disadvantage. Um, You know, this would be an indication that, you know, maybe Jose Benavidez Jr. might might get the dub, all right? You know, maybe Charlo wasn't training hard enough, but you got to remember, he been out almost two, or two, if not two, over two years. If my memory serves me correctly. So, also, he been on camera talking about, you know, um, doing shrooms and shit, shit of that nature. So, I, I mean, I honestly don't know. So, either he going to come in a little bit heavy, either he, gonna, either he a little bit out of shape, all right? Or with that additional weight, this is one of the reasons why you don't really take a fight like this because he going he got a weight advantage. That's the reason why, and he got a three point weight, three pound weight advantage. That's wild. Three pound weight advantage is bananas. You know, so he'll be able to absorb punishment, be able to walk him down, you know, do certain things to him. Pause. But this might be an indication that he might be out of shape. So I mean, you know, if you want to bet the, uh, do you want to bet the, uh, the upset? Bet the upset. I ain't mad at you. 
Bet the upset. You know, bet the upset. That's what I want to see, bet the upset. But at the same time, you know, he posed to fight the winner of Andrade and, and, and Benavidez. I've told you, I reported that. He posed to fight the winner of Andrade and Benavidez, uh, Jamal Charlo. I heard Canelo might not be an option no more. So, I mean, like I continue to say, man, I just think for the most part, he may not, he may not be ready to come back yet. And if he didn't come back, he probably was never coming back. You know what I'm saying? So if he didn't come back, he probably was never coming back. So this could be an indication that it's time for him to move up. And he probably was a he was a big 160 to begin with. So you take two years off of doing something, and then people think you're drinking all day, and people think you, you know, doing drugs all day and all this stuff. I mean, what you what you expect? What you expect? So you know that's that's the main that's the main that's the main dollar question. So it's gonna be it's gonna be hard for him to make that weight. Extremely hard. Extremely hard. You know, when you don't do something for a certain amount of time, especially when you are already big at the weight, that's going to be hard to cut that weight off. Extremely. Extremely hard. So, um, you know, my, in my humble opinion, I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised. Um, none of that. None of it. None of it. But you know, people say how you missed it for he missed that for a catch weight. I I didn't see dudes. You know, like I said, I seen Algeria who's a dietitian, missed the weight, and he a dietitian at a catch weight with Manny Pacquiao. So they're going to cough him some cash to Benavidez. Uh, that's what's going to happen. But this may not be a good indication, bro. This may not be a good, great indication. You know, this dude might be on upset alert. He don't look as he don't look the same. And when you don't, when you take time off, especially when it ain't designed time off, when you take time off, bro, and you ain't taking care of your body, you ain't healing. You doing things that they accuse him of doing, or he been accused of doing from what he said online. That ain't never good. This is a recipe for disaster. And most people already don't like the Charlos right now, anyway. Most people don't like the Charlos already, anyway. So, you know. But yeah, I think I mean he might be in a bit of trouble. He might be in a bit of trouble. He might be in a bit of trouble. So um but you know, maybe Benavidez is so much of an inferior opponent that it, it may not matter. So, you know, that, that that may be the case. Benavidez might be so much of an inferior opponent, it may simply not matter. But um, you know, he might this might mean he, he must be done at the weight by missing about three pounds. And then hey, hold on before I forget, slow it down. I'm not gonna see the voice. Remember, he said he won the press conference. I don't know how many people have seen the press conference. It was the best Zoom press conference of all time, right? That I seen. Remember at the press conference, old buddy said that uh he said that uh don't forget, he said that he had just started training camp. Don't forget when they did the Zoom press conference, hold on. 
he said that he had just started training camp. He said he had just started training camp. When they did the Zoom press conference, he said they just started training camp. He said that. He said they just started training camp. Those was his words, not mine. He said they just started training camp. So he said that. He said they just started training camp. He said they just started training camp when he when they did that Zoom conference. So let's see when they did the, the press conference. That wasn't nothing but a couple weeks ago. He said he just started training camp. So I don't know what he was doing. This fight had been had been this fight had been rumored. I've been hearing this fight been rumored for at least two months around that time. So that was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, he just started training camp. He said, I just started training camp. And then the dude from Fight Hype just asked him when he just did the one-on-one -on -one interview, and he doubled down on it. He doubled down on it. So it is what it is, man. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. The link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. Don't forget to check my new channel out, Free Game 89, FR33 Game 89. Link tree, link tree, link tree in description and link tree. Oh, yeah, link in the link tree in description. You know what I mean? And also check out my Detroit channel, Mercy Sparks Talk. Link in the link tree. Link in, link tree is in the link. The link is in the link tree in the description. Peace. Check out the Box News playlist.